what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a very special episode of Vital Vital Fluke. And today we're going to be blasting Grave Ritual, Morbid Throne on Dark Descent Records. Awesome, wet blanket, drenched, evil death metal from the south. I love this album. I love this band. I can't wait for the new material because the shit they played live fucking A. So goddamn good. So evil. I was squeezing two fucking invisible grapefruits. I was also stoned out of my mind on edibles, but that's beyond the point. But today I want to do something different. And I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I did just figured, you know, today's a good day. So, let's do... Cyanide vs. Bolt Thrower. Now, if you don't know, Cyanide is one of the heaviest bands ever to come out of America. When it comes to Death Doom, nobody really does it better. I, I can't think of a band that does Death Doom in America better than Cyanide. The Dying Truth, this 1992 reissue on The Crypt and Dark Descent Records, is a prime example of this band and how fucking heavy and good they are. You have tracks like Mind Scrape, Human Cesspool, The, Scu the Suffering, Scourging at the Pillar, Crawling Chaos, The Dying Truth, Funeral, and Second Life. Pure and total fucking death. And then we have the UK's Bolt Thrower. To me, this was what war metal was for years until I got into blasphemy and stuff. I thought war metal was just bands like Bolt Thrower and stuff, but they just sing about war and shit. It's not just the style of music. But Bolt Thrower starting off as a kind of punky, grindy band ended up becoming one of the heaviest death metal bands ever. And even with In Battle There Is No Law, absolutely devastating listen so fucking good which is why I snagged this up which has some stuff from Warmaster on it and I think we should go off of that so we'll go off of 1990 bolt thrower versus 1992 cyanide we'll see who's heavier and let's pick a winner shall we so first off let's start with Destructive Infinity by Bolt Thrower from their Grind Madness at the BBC, the Earache Peel Sessions vinyl on Drown and Torment. And that's just the name of the color it comes on, which is this BBC 180 gram monster right here. So we'll throw this on first and it's Bolt Thrower versus Cyanide. Let's do this. Round one. Fight! Alright, so Bolt Thrower is up with Destructive Infinity from their Earache Peel Sessions. Now this is live, but that should give us a heavier vibe. So let's go off this and let's see what's heavier. Listen to that brick.
amazing drumming. It seriously sounds like artillery. And they even have a female. In case you didn't know. So many bands have been influenced from Bolt Thrower. Fucking sick! This is gonna be a tough contest. Holy shit! A lot faster than cyanide though, I'll tell you that. Cyanide is way more knuckle dragging. Destructive infinity. I love that riff. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, bolt thrower. Killing it right now, but we'll see. You never know. Alright, time for some cyanide. Let's do this. This is Mind Scrape from The Dying Truth, 1992. This is the reissue, so... Again, this is just absolutely devastatingly heavy. Awesome riffs. Anything that makes you pump your fist, fuck yeah. Some of the heaviest death metal and death doom in general ever recorded, in my opinion. I can't wait to get more of their catalog as well. I have a bunch coming. I mean, I didn't want to do, like, Fourth Crusade versus, like, Cyanide, because I would have to go with Bolt Thrower. But this, I feel like, is fair. Heavy as fuck! Awesome lyrics too. Time to pray. Great. The choice is free. Time to pray. Mind scrape. Succumb to greed.
Definitely not as lively as Bolt Thrower, but definitely heavier when it comes to just the knuckle-dragging, cavernous sounding vocals and just how slow these riffs are. I can feel my hair growing. Awesome stuff here. This part coming up though might be the deal breaker here. Just a heads up. But yeah, this was originally released in 1992 and was reissued in 2017 by Dark Descent Records and The Crypt. And it sounds magnificent. Taken from the original DAT tapes and yeah, it sounds great as you can hear. This is definitely going to be a tough choice. I don't know, this is really gonna be tough. Seriously, I'm like thinking, I'm like, oh man. That was the part I was talking about. Fucking bad ass. There we go, a nice guitar solo. Fuck. This is pretty much neck and neck. I love this album. It's so good. Alright, so that was some heavy fucking shit, and we're going to be blasting some regurgitated guts, esophical mutilation as well. Awesome shit on Unspeakable Axe Records, but who won? Was it Cyanide's The Dying Truth, Mind Scrape from 1992, or was it Bolt Thrower, Destructive Infinity from their live earache peel sessions? And the winner is... Drumroll, please! Bolt Thrower! Fuck yeah! Now, why Bolt Thrower? There are so many goddamn reasons why. Cyanide, I love to death, but Bolt Thrower... They just have such an amazing discography. I even chose some of their live material to kind of give Cyanide an edge. It just depends on your, you know, what you like better. If you like knuckle-dragging, cavernous death metal, then Cyanide's your cup of tea. If you like your death metal slow, heavy, but when it needs to be fast, it's fucking fast, Bolt Thrower has you covered. Especially with records like the fucking Fourth Crusade, War Master, fuck yeah. So, get into some fucking Bolt Thrower. Check out Regurgitated Guts and let me know who you think wins down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hoot!